In this segment, we're going to talk about the basic overall machine learning framework that we're going to be applying in this course, um, and we're going to introduce the idea of gradient descent. So the high-level idea is that we have a set of parameters, w, uh, to optimize. And these might be the uh, weights associated with a uh, linear binary classifier, or they might be something like parameters of a big neural network. We're going to assume, uh, when we're doing supervised learning, which nearly everything in this course is, that we have access to labeled data, uh, which is going to be in this form. So what this means is that there's D points um, and each one uh, consists of an input, x, which would be something like a sentence, and uh, a label, y. Uh, and the superscript i means that that's the uh, you know, input or the label associated with the ith training example. So suppose we're doing classification with 10,000 features. And so uh, w is a vector in r to the 10,000. And the way we can think about machine learning is we're searching for an optimal w. Um, we want to find a weight vector that is going to allow us to do well at our uh, classification task that we've got. And so we think about this uh, as an optimization problem. We have some sort of training objective Um, which is going to be linear over examples. And then we are going to optimize it. And this linearity is going to be important for this idea of stochastic gradient descent. So what does this objective look like? Um, again, to keep things pretty general, we'll get uh, concrete you know, when we actually see uh, algorithms that fall into this paradigm. The objective looks like a sum from i equals 1 to d, so a sum over the training examples, of of a loss defined with respect to the ith data point and the weights or parameters that we are optimizing. And so roughly, the way you could think of this as, uh, OK, for these current weights, how well is it doing at fitting this particular example? And by summing up those losses over the training data, we get an overall sense of how well does this, uh, this, weight vec this current weight vector w fit the training data. And what we want to do is we, find, we want to find a w that fits this training data very well. Um, and so this leads to the idea of stochastic gradient descent. And there's a whole space of algorithms here. Um, I'm basically just presenting the general framework so that we have the basics of the machine learning and you know, we can get on to the NLP stuff. Uh, but obviously, there is a rich set of techniques here in optimization that we can take advantage of. So uh, basically, what this looks like is the following. So for a variable t up to uh, you know, some num epochs, For i up to d, what we do is we sample 
j from the interval 1 to d. So basically, we are picking a data point, and then we are applying an update to our weight vector, which looks like the following. All right, and so what do we have here? We have the gradient of the loss with respect to w. So what this basically is, is this points towards w that give higher loss. And so because this gradient tells us, OK, if we move the current value of w in this direction, we're going to get a higher amount of loss. What we want to do is we want to subtract that. We want to move in the other direction and reduce the loss. Um, multiplied by some step size alpha. And what this step size does is it allows us to, to kind of look at how far we want to move and adjust that accordingly. And so we'll be talking about the step size uh, a, you know, a little bit down the road when we um, actually talk more about implementing this. And then um, for deep neural networks, this step size parameter is fairly important. But what this gives you is the kind of overall picture of where nearly all of the methods in this course are going to fall into. And so when we talk about perceptron and logistic regression, they're both going to turn out to be instances of this framework. Uh, and so we're going to be able to understand them in that vein. And then even training super complicated deep neural networks uh, is also fundamentally going to look like this. And so this is the framework that we're going to be taking advantage of going forward. And that's the end of this segment.